just knock on the door or whatever. And she just, she doesn't want him anymore. There's just no interest there. Well, guess what? He doesn't go away. He keeps at it until she has to get a restraining order. You know, so that's the kind of that's the kind of thing that happens with Mars Uranus. That's Uranus. Jupiter. Oh, Uranus. Mars Uranus. Uh, pardon me, Mars Saturn. Now, I was thinking, Mars Uranus. Now, this is something different again. And this is, as I said earlier, I, it already came out that when I spoke about an intermittent relationship, Mars will demand some kind of action from this person here. He will demand a relationship, uh, a stable relationship, or whatever. He wants to use his energy on this person. But guess what? This Uranus person is vacillating, is moving from one position to another. One day she wants to be with him, one day she doesn't want to be with him. Finally, as I said, in these, in these tricky situations where these two planets are involved, this person goes away on, uh, on vacation or, or moves to another town to work. And this person is faced with being in love with somebody who's now a thousand miles away. You know, I've seen that happen again and again. It's a dangerous aspect also. I said, uh, you remember I said something about accent formation? I knew a, a guy who uh, fell to earth with a parachute, and the parachute failed to open. And he had that Mars Uranus aspect in his chart. Uh, Did he live? No, no. And I, I saw it in a Sunday paper. I wouldn't have known about it unless I read it in the paper. And he was... Oh, just uh, recently? No, this happened oh. about 20 years ago, oh. actually. Well, that's Isn't the guy that you told not to go when he went anyway. <laughs> yes, and I felt that maybe I, maybe I made a mistake there. I shouldn't have said anything about an accent. I, maybe I, I thought there was know, somebody a couple years idea. ago. Yeah. But he had been he had been diving, skydiving, you know, for like 10 years. And he was helping other people, you know, get their backs straightened out. And he would go with other people on their first skydive and stuff and help them out. And that's how he felt hurt. He had a very powerful chart, though, a very masculine chart, a very a heroic chart. And, and how he died was he... Um, uh, he stuck with that person all the way down and did not pull his own ripcord, you know. He stuck with that person to try to get their ripcord open or something like that and, and, and made a hero of himself, but they both lost their lives. They both did? Oh, okay. Yeah. He they, was doing his best. He was doing his best. They figured out what he was doing. Were, were both of the parachutes faulty? I don't know about his parachute. I really don't know what the story was about that one. But what, as I remember, it was the other person's parachute that was definitely faulty and he was trying to get it untangled, or he was trying yeah. to get something open, and they just got past that point of no return, you know, and he yeah. could not save And what did you him. see that you told him about? What I saw was that he was born with Mars, opposite Uranus, and they were both right on angles like this. If the planets are on an angle, in other words, the horizon line, or the midheaven line, then it's two or three times more powerful, and it will almost certainly have some kind of impact on their, their actual lives, you know, it'll not just be some subtle force in the background, but it'll be some actual event, you know, that takes place. And Mars rising, well, this is a planet of accidents, Mars is a planet of accidents, well, it's right, and this is a planet of the unexpected. But you told him to not go on that particular day, or? No, I just, he, well, what, 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 what actually happened day. was that he was coming in repeatedly, and, and, and uh, he wanted me to go to his church. He was a reborn, you know, Christian. And I said, do you mind if I take a look at your chart, you know? And I said, oh, by the way, you've got, you've got this thing going on here. He said, uh, and it's kind of accent for He says, well, that figure is because I'm a skydiver and I've been doing so and so. And I remember his name, and then when I read about him in the paper a couple weeks later, that is exactly what had happened. So it's just very sad, but that's the kind of thing that can happen. Mars-Pluto conflicts. If somebody's born with Mars in a conjunction with Pluto, chart, that person will very often go to war. That person will very often become a fireman or a policeman or some other public s servant, you know, but that exposes himself to danger and has, uh, you, you know, a, um, a level of danger in his life, his or her life, that's a constant. A woman with this aspect, she might go to the Peace Corps, but she's going to get in the middle of a revolution when she's there or something. They say the people that are born with this aspect, they should not go abroad because they'll end up in some some cell someplace or, you know, or walk into a revolution that's going on. So so this is, this, and if it's, uh, and if it's the two people together, in other words, like if this is one person's Mars and the other person's Pluto, they go on that trip together. They go on that trip together. And that's what causes them to get into trouble. You know? So it would be interesting to see sometimes these 
these people who are friends in college, and then they take off to Iraq or Afghanistan or something, and end up, you know, captured or, or you know, uh, killed or something, if they have this kind of aspect in their chart. I think they do, because this is exactly the kind of thing that would bring that out. Let's see the next slide. 